Hey guys, today's project is just a 15 minute project, but it's full stack. It's made with Streamlit and what it does is it uh, uses AI to summarize job description for us. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste a Golang uh, job description here, which uh, what I'm saying is that the, the, the candidate will help me in architectural design, will help me with understanding software requirements, translating them into high performance products, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to help uh, take the help of AI to summarize this. So this request now goes to OpenAI, comes back and you get all the responsibilities of the job title, which is Golang engineer and all the requirements required for the job. And uh, then you have, um, you know, tips on how the candidate should um, highlight the, uh, the skills that the candidate should highlight in the resume with the keywords. Okay. So this is the project that we're building. Now you get a nice uh, menu here where you can rerun the project. You get all these options. You get the options for settings. You get the options for uh, recording a screencast. You can print it, print the, <laughs> the, the UI. You can uh, get some about information about it, which is uh, about Streamlit. And you can clear the cache. You can also deploy this app to, if you wanted to, to uh, Streamlit Cloud. Okay, so um, so what we'll do is we'll we'll see how we can create this kind of a menu, uh, which actually comes with Streamlit, so we don't have to do much here, to be honest, and um, and create this little application. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder called JD Summarizer YT for YouTube, and we will CD into it. And uh, I'll open this up in my VS Code. So we're using two libraries here. We're using Streamlit and Langchain. Both of them are uh, being used quite a lot right now. Streamlit for front end and Langchain, you'll see, you'll soon see why. And here we'll have our folder called app. The app folder will have three things. It'll have main.py. It'll have um, the summarizer logic.py and it'll have a dot env. Now for the dot env, it's just gonna have your open AI key. So make sure you put in your open AI key here, out here. Okay. I'm gonna do uh, put in my key. So I'll just close this off right now. I'll put in my key later. Make sure you do that, otherwise the program won't work, obviously. Now in your main.py. Uh, you're going to import streamlit as st sorry as st and now this is your summarizer which is your summarizer.py so from summarizer you will import something called as summarize id now that's something we have we haven't worked on that uh, summarize jd sorry job description we haven't worked on that yet so let's do that on in summarizer.py you're going to import few things import OS from environs import env to be able to work with the env file and then we need langchain to work with uh, the prompt so we'll get a prompt template so we we'll get prompt template we'll help, this will help us work with openai and from langchain dot llms because long Langchain gives you the ability to work with multiple types of LMs and OpenAI being one of them. So we'll get the one that we want, which is OpenAI. Now you'll get your environment, which enables you to read the environment file, which is available to us as .env. And the API key is, uh, I'm going to get that with the help of os.getenv and the constant is going to be called open api open ai api key which is there in my env file open ai api key so now i'll be able to access that with the help of just the api key variable and this is the function that i imported here the summarize jd function which i'm going to define out here summarize JD, this is where all the magic happens. And this takes in the job description. And then starts with an empty template. Okay. 
and here you create the template actually. So yeah, so we could start with an empty template and then initialize the te write the template in the next line, or we can do it instead of initializing with this starting with the uh, empty template, we'll just uh, put the template here directly instead. So I'll, I think I'll just put the template here directly. So this is the template, which is uh, you are a career services professional with over ten years of experience in the industry, uh, primarily operating in the location. Sorry, I'll just close this so that you can read it better. You are tasked with finding skills from a job description for the role of. So if, when you see these kind of things, right, in, in curly braces, what, what you're saying is we're going to be passing these variables uh, dynamically into this prompt. So, so these things, job description, industry, uh, location, role, all of these we'll pass. Uh, but this is something that we're telling OpenAI, this is, this is how it's supposed to behave. So we are saying, hey, Mr. OpenAI, you are a career services professional uh, with over 10 years of experience. This is how you're supposed to behave. And you'll say, please analyze this job description to identify the skills and categorize them as follows. So we'll, we're expecting three titles, job title, uh, responsibilities and requirements. And that's how you saw these three things in the demo that I showed you in the beginning of this project. So you have your prompt and prompt template. And here are the three, uh, here are the few variables that we'll send. So input variables. We'll have the industry, the location, the role, and the job description. Okay, so because those are the things you're expecting here, industry, location, role and job description. Now, uh, this is what makes this uh, project that we're making a bit scalable because it can work for any industry for any job description, right? Uh, because you can enter input them dynamically as variables. So template is equal to template. So that's our prompt. And uh, right now I have to actually send some values for these. So for the industry location role in job position, I'll have to actually send some values. So I'll say final prompt, prompt dot format industry equals to software engineering comma location is United, sorry, United States role is Golang engineer and the job description will be equal to which is what we are expecting from the user so that's how that's what you saw in the demo right that I uh, from the from the front end I actually put in the job description right so that's what we're expecting here and all the other values we have set, but uh, except from the job description, because this whole project is a job description summarizer. So open AI and here we'll pass the open AI API key and the value for that will be equal to API key because we have that from before now, the API key. And summary equal to lm final prompt return summary. Okay, so OpenAI will be available to us uh, after passing in the API key will be available to us in LLM and we can access our OpenAI through LLM. So LLM and then to the LLM we'll pass our final prompt that we just created here with the values for industry location role and job description which we know our values that we can send in uh, dynamically in this prompt and then you get the summary you get the summary from there after passing in the final prompt and that's what you return from this function okay now uh, the thing is with streamlit apps you just need to be sure of the identification so make sure everything is proper. Uh, this code is already there on my GitHub. 
I'm Akhil Sharma 90 on GitHub. If you've been following me on YouTube, you probably know that already. And you'll find the project there uh, for sure. Okay. In, in case something doesn't work, you can refer to the code as well out there. Now, going over to uh, main.py, we have the streamlit as a ST and summarizer. Uh, we have imported summarize JD from the, the function from this file. Now, before we go ahead and complete the code for this project, just want to tell you that this video will be a part of this AI and LLM project series playlist on my channel. And there are already 10 projects here, 10 awesome projects here. And this video will also be in the series. Make sure you check out the other projects as well. And if you are planning to learn Golang, Golang <coughs> really sorry, if you're planning to learn Golang in 2024, might want to check out this 53 killer Golang projects. Uh, on my YouTube, there are there are also 50 Rust projects on my YouTube. Uh, there's a complete playlist, and then there is an Ultimate System Design uh, course. This this is not complete. I keep adding more videos to it, and uh, there's also the Technology Architecture course. Uh, this is also not complete. I keep adding more videos to it. But um, do do watch these. All of this all of this is for free. Make sure you sh share it with your friends in case you want to learn Technology Architecture, System Design, GoLang or Rust even AI and LLM. And then if you're into blockchain, there's this, the, the entire Substrate Developer uh, course here in case you want to build your own blockchains. So there's a lot of stuff on this channel. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you uh, share this with your friends. Uh, you don't want them to be missing out. The other thing I want to tell you about is my uh, course called the six AI plus Golang projects advanced course, which where we were building six Golang AI projects. So a Discord bot, a Vispier API, a AI bot, a Telegram AI bot, Kubernetes AI Assistant, Terraform AI Copilot, Terminal AI Assistant. This is 26 hours of content. Extremely detailed planning exercise for each project will be available. Uh, the complete code is well documented. Each uh, line of code has been explained. And if you're looking for a job in 2024, uh, you'll have to learn AI. And if you're a Golang developer, this is like the perfect, perfect project for you. Uh, the link for this project will be in the description of this video so let's uh, now i have that all of this out of the way let's get started with the code yeah so back to the code so we've imported the summarizer and now i'll use streamlit uh, which is available to me in uh, with st so set page config and i'll set the title of my page which is job uh, description summarizer I'll select an icon for the page and the layout I'll select the wide layout and the icon for the page I'll select as sorry this and then select the title for so everything to do with ST is streamlit because that's how it's available to me and as your title title is job description summarizer anchor equal to false and header is summarize job with AI anchor equal to false. So I've set my title and header, and now the form where I accept the job description from the user. Here I'll say JD is equal to and create a text area where the user will put in. The job description paste the job description here and our value equal to empty. And define a function submit underscore form and this will write to as uh, we call the summarize jerry function and pass in the JD. So the summarize JD function is this. We are able to call it because we imported it here and it takes in the job description. That's why we're passing JD out here. Okay. And then we have submit equal to st.form 
submit button summarize on click submit form so that's it that's the entire code and uh, it's quite possible that it won't work I mean there will be uh, there will be issues here and uh, one thing to get right is uh, is the indentation so here I'll get all of this in line so that just increases the chances of issues not being there so it reduces the chances of issues not being there and uh, now now we have to get uh, we will try to run this project now it's important to note that I already have uh, streamlet and lang chain on my PC and what you'll have to do is you'll have to run pip install uh, you'll have to run something like this which is pip install lang chain and after you run it you'll have to run pip install streamlet in case you don't have these but if you've done the previous video with me uh, which where we built the um, background remover app then you probably have streamed it okay so just make sure you you get these dependencies uh, and and obviously uh, where you get pip with python so that shouldn't be a problem if you install python you will get pip and with pip you can install all of these libraries now i already have this and all i have to do is streamlet run main.py so uh, I don't see any errors here and this is working on 8501 so let me go ahead and open this up on localhost 8501 okay and now I can come here and uh, add some sample go oh, sorry Lang job description. Let's see if I get something. I'll just copy and paste this one and summarize. So now I get a few errors. Yeah, because I didn't end up adding my OpenAI key. And I kept telling you guys to add it, but I myself forgot to add it. So I'll just go ahead and add it very quickly. So here we'll just add some uh, job description again so I'm running it now after putting in my uh, open AI key and now I'm expecting it to work hopefully yeah so now it works perfectly fine so you get the title as Golang engineer get all the responsibilities and all the requirements and blah 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 blah, blah. okay so open AI is working perfectly fine now sometimes you see something like this which is the text getting clipped which is the response coming back from OpenAI and you hit the limit of the to number of tokens that have been assigned to you. So you, all, all users have a limit of the number of tokens that they can uh, get from one request. So that, dep that depends on the um, AI model that, that we are using. And uh, yeah, so the, the amount of context and tokens it can handle. So this we'll talk about, now this is, this is obviously a problem and we'll talk about this in one of uh, an advanced videos. But all you need to know in this video is how to get back a response like this, okay? And when it sometimes when the OpenAI is not able to complete something, uh, there are multiple ways to handle it. This, the simplest way is to give it a, a word limit. So, so, so telling in the prompt something like this, which is uh, you have to reply back in 200 words, then it definitely it won't get cut. So that's one of the easier solutions. But then there are multiple more solutions where you can stream the output back. You can uh, artificially increase. The number of token, the token context. You can have multiple uh, prompts, and you can then uh, the response that you get back. You can combine them together. <clears throat> so there are multiple ways to handle it, but it's not the, the uh, what we're covering in this in today's video. So thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, and do share all of this awesome awesome content with your friends. And uh, see you.